Well, here it is, guys. The moment you've all been waiting for. The moment you've all been asking for. Well, so, some of you, not all of you. Not, well, honestly, not even really some of you. But like one of you. One of you asked for this. Months ago. It's another segment of checking in with Wendy. So yeah, we're checking up on Wendy again. And, uh, spoiler alert, she still stinks. When I say she stinks, I mean that metaphorically, but also quite literally, because she constantly farts on live air. That cop wasn't playing that. I mean, you're lucky you only got battery. So, okay. going to stand up. Right. Can you guys hit the music for me? She's not lonely. Yeah. Oh, she's not lonely. <laughs> oh. So it's been a while since I've done a quick peek in on Wendy Williams. Last time I checked up on her, she was not doing well. Um, oh, 12 bedrooms. <laughs> to be real with you, every time you check in on Wendy, there's some sort of questionable circumstances going on. How dare you, Mr. Spears? You had me fooled. And you too, Mrs. Spears. Death to all of them. Oh, oh. Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> die, die, die! Somebody should probably check in on her. <laughs> it's the Wendy Williams Show. Okay, let's get started. It's time for... Come on! Uh, Britney Spears' longtime manager has resigned. He probably resigned because he thought you were gonna put a hit out on him. <laughs> Death to all of them. Die! Let's move along to Pete Davidson. <laughs> he is cute. He is cute and he is funny and he's allowed to be both cute and funny because he's successful. Because he's successful. What does that even mean? Hey, what does that mean? You really just say things, hey? Okay, well, Pete is getting all of his tattoos removed. All of... <laughs> Do you understand this crime scene? <laughs> they're on his front, they're on his back. They're everywhere. Um, he got all the tattoos before he starred in that movie uh, where he became a star about Staten Island. No, but he got the tattoos before he knew he'd be a, like a big movie star. Yeah, I said, yeah. he got the tattoos before he knew he'd be a star in whatever movie, Staten Island. Yeah. <laughs> His pay just got cut. Just like that, his pay just got cut. <laughs> Even he's like, yeah, okay, sure. That's what you said. Sometimes it's hard to follow exactly what you're saying, but okay. Listen, we all do stupid things, particularly when we're young, but this is overboard, and this is why I always tell you all, um, if you're gonna get tattoos, be thoughtful where you get them, because, ugh. And then, like, it's summertime, so even if you have one here and you want to wear a tube top or something, I just, just say no to tattoos. How about that? Say no to tattoos. You know, Wendy Williams, she would never do anything to modify her body. Completely natural, she is. <laughs> I might get a Wendy Williams tattoo. Just a tattoo of her hatching from whatever alien egg she was born from. And you don't understand how much men love a clean body. And not all those piercings. A couple of piercings in your ear, not all the way up and around your gristle. <laughs> not in your nose and not in your lip. Men cheat on you with girls like that. But they don't want that. Do you understand? You understand what I'm saying? Keep your body as clean as possible. Yeah. 
I guess if you have tattoos, you're a dirty person. According to Wendy Williams, who is obviously the queen of purity. Keep your body as clean as possible. Shits her pants. <laughs> Keep your body as clean as possible. Shits herself. She really does sound more and more like a weirdly outdated grandma whose opinions on the world have nothing to do with the way that modern society operates. If you want tattoos, get tattoos. And there's also no one way that men collectively prefer a woman to be. Also, this is talking about Pete Davidson, so it's weird that you're applying it to the women. But I don't think Pete Davidson really has to worry about wearing a tube top. Maybe he does. I don't know him. I have no idea who this is. Neither does Norman. Neither does one person in this building. Do you know who <laughs> Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Nah, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. Oh. On TikTok, but on Instagram, you have more followers. And he just got his fucking original payback. Give that man a raise now. He had to, to, he had to white knight for his overlord. He had to absolutely simp for the queen bee of the show. She's clearly jealous of this kid's like amount of followers on TikTok. She wouldn't have mentioned it if she wasn't. No one uses Instagram anymore. And as, <laughs> as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> so here he is. He's 19, and he was murdered Monday morning. Even the crowd was like, wait, what? I thought we were, I thought we were making fun of this guy. Probably should have led with the fact that he was recently deceased before, before tricking your crowd into like loosely making fun of him. Yeah, you're just heartless, absolutely heartless. And you know what, now my leading theory is that she actually had her heart removed in order to go an extra size bigger on the implants. <laughs> now nah, just take it out, we don't need that. We need to make more room here. I'm trying to upgrade here. I want it to be almost impossible to hold my balance. I'm trying to f almost, I'm trying to almost fall over everywhere I go. You know? The killer confessed on Instagram Live, alleges that Swavy and the friends that were with Swavy jumped him and tried to kill him. So he had a gun and did the killing. So, somebody's dead. Um, the guy who was invited over, he's dead. Yeah, Swavy is, yeah, dead. Swavy is now dead. Correct. Oh, mm. all those Tragic. followers. Yeah, that's really tragic. Only 19 years old. And by the way, the, um, the friend who came over was an admitted drug dealer. No one in custody, they'll probably never catch anyone, you know. Another one of those stories. Mm. On a lighter note, Bruce Springsteen's daughter is going to the Olympics. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna move on like that, hey? I thought weird transitions like this were only possible on like the news channel talking about like a tragedy and then immediately go to something upbeat and it's this weird juxtaposition in the way that you're supposed to be feeling i really only thought that that was possible in the newsroom but wendy williams really just takes it to another level all of those followers like that's the tragedy here all those tragedy. followers it's just yet another circumstance of wendy williams pooping from her mouth that's why i'm doing these things you check in on her you go that's insane. And then you go back to your regular life. I'm gonna skip forward to one of my favorite segments on the show, Ask Wendy, because she is definitely in the right state to be giving other people advice. Do you have problems in your life? Not Wendy. <laughs> She's got it all figured out, as you can tell. It's time for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? 
Hey, Wendy, my name is Kelsey Dixon. I'm 20, I'm from New Jersey. Um, I've been dating my boyfriend for four years now and he wants me to move in with him. And I don't have a ring, I have no form of commitment and I don't wanna be stuck in a lease. Wendy, what do I do? No form of commitment? You've been with him for four years. Seems fairly committed. And he's asking you to move in, which seems like the next step. So... Well, here's the deal. At 20 years old, why would you even think of getting married? Why would you even think of looking for a ring? At 20 years old, how can you even be with the same guy you've been with for four, four years? Mm-hmm. It's been four years. Your life is so stuck. <laughs> Your life is so stuck. Your life is so stuck? It sounds like shit to be you. You got a guy who's been with you for four years and is asking you to move in? Unbelievable. I would hate to hate to be in that position. Love. Who needs it? My honest recommendation is to break up with him. <laughs> save your money. Get your own apartment. See? That way you can make your own rules, go mm -hmm. in and out, and date, flirt. You're only 20. Stop thinking about marriage. You got it, girl. How you fucking doing? So there you go, guys. I was checking in on Wendy. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell. You'll be notified next time I upload, and I would love to see you there. And you know what? Before we go, let's go ahead and hit a quick uh, uh, shoe cam on Hank to take us out. Let's see them shoes, boy. Let's see those shoes, boy. Yes! <laughs>